the forms of intrinsically ego-transcending yogic sexual practice and motiveless celibacy in the reality way of Adidam, taken from the Elatheon, Volume 3, the divine avataric self-revelation of his divine presence, Avatar Adidas Samraj. In my years of divine avataric teaching submission for the sake of humankind, I not only confessed and practiced but also fully and spontaneously and otherwise by real participatory ordeal and by intensive experiment and by progressive observation and demonstration relative to my own body-mind discovered and always openly, directly and thoroughly revealed and taught the total and necessarily detailed practices and processes of intimate and emotional sexual yoga which I call emotional sexual conscious exercise and emotional sexual devotional communion and true yogic intimacy which in the case of my thus practicing devotees is the intrinsically ego transcending practice or potentially transcendental spiritual and necessarily yogic discipline of devotion to me in the context of any appropriately chosen relationship between emotional sexual intimacies, emotional sexual intimates who are yet sexually active. The practices and processes of intimate and emotional sexual yoga that I demonstrated and discovered and fully revealed and taught are and require a unique, profound and demanding self-discipline. I affirm that these practices and processes of intimate and emotional sexual and genital intercourse yoga are, if truly rightly engaged, humanly and in due course transcendentally spiritually, both appropriate and sufficiently effective in the case of intimately sexually active general lay practitioners of the reality way of Adidam or Adidam Rishiradam. I also affirm that these practices and processes of intimate and emotional sexual and genital intercourse yoga when rightly combined with all other necessary forms of me recognizing and whole body to me responding devotion, right life self-discipline and preliminary perfect knowledge, listening practice associated with formal cultural participation in the only by me revealed and given reality way of Adidam are intrinsically ego transcending and thus truly sex bondage transcending such that sexual activity can in the case of general lay practitioners of the reality way of Adidam be made compatible with the process that precedes and prepares for the otherwise necessary and intrinsically motiveless single celibate practice of the perfect practice of the reality way of Adidam. I have also revealed and taught and demonstrated the total and detailed practice and process of motiveless and searchless celibacy engaged by my single celibate renunciate devotees in the total context of constant and intrinsically ego transcending whole bodily devotional and transcendental spiritual communion with me. Such true motiveless and searchless 
single celibate renunciation is intrinsically egoless and always proudly free of sex bondage rather than being merely idealistic and consequently self-suppressive puritanical moralistic social ego bound social ego based and strategically life energy negative thus in the only by me revealed and given reality way of Ali Dam true motiveless and searchless formal single celibate renunciation is in the case of those who are truly qualified for its fullest right practice inherently free of any and every form of sex problem and inherently and entirely free of any and every form of emotional sexual agitation therefore such true motiveless and searchless single celibate renunciation exemplifies true equanimity and transcendental spiritual fullness and ultimately in the context of the perfect practice of the only by me revealed and given reality way of Adi Dam, the perfect inherent sufficiency of the intrinsically egoless and self-evidently divine self-nature, self-condition and self-state of reality itself. All general lay practitioners of the reality way of Adi Dam, whether celibate or intimately sexually active, may, as appropriate, apply psychophysically energy conservative yogic means of own body sexual self discipline, as given by me, in order to yogically serve and support the maintenance of true equanimity. That yogic exercise is essentially the traditional practice of Shakti Shalana Mudra or of characteristically energy conserving, orgasm converting and solitary yogic masturbation engaged not as a separative practice of manipulating some kind of energy or sensation inside your own physical body but as a means for restoring and magnifying whole bodily participation in the condition or universal energy or universal field of energy including both the natural bodily energy and as the case may be my avatarically self-transmitted divine transcendental spirit energy in addition, all practitioners of the reality way of Adidam may, as may be appropriate and as an extension of own body sexual responsibility, engage the by me given practice of yogic conductivity massage, which form of massage addresses the entire body, including in a manner appropriate to each individual case the genitals. I affirm that motiveless or non-strategic, intrinsically problem-free and searchless celibacy and intimate yogic sexual activity are simply the two possible forms of emotional sexual self-discipline in the context of right and serious general lay practice of the only by me revealed and given reality way of Ali Dam, with either alternative being the possible appropriate choice, depending on the practice characteristics and the personal characteristics in the case of any particular general lay practitioner of the reality way of Ali Dam. And I also affirm that motiveless, searchless, and always priorly problem-free single celibacy is, in every case, the inevitable and necessary choice in the case of right and serious formal renunciate practice 
of the reality way of Adidam. In any and every case, the rightly chosen alternative of either right celibacy or intimate yogic emotional sexual discipline must, in the, in the only by me revealed and given reality way of Adidam, be practiced entirely as an intrinsically ego transcending and whole bodily comprehensive discipline, always formally and rightly culturally guided and always based on a constant full and fully culturally accountable measure of my any devotees growing and always outgrowing human, spiritual, transcendental and ultimately divine right life practice of whole bodily recognition responsive devotion to me. The alternative of yogically right and yogically active sexually and emotionally active intimate yogic practice conservatively measured in terms of frequency of sexual activity and engaged in the context of truly bonded transcending relationship is a possible choice for general lay practitioners within the Mulrose lay congregationist order and the Clear Lake forward lay cong congregationist order of the only by me revealed and given reality way of Adidam. The alternative of right celibacy, either single celibacy or celibacy within intimacy, is also a possible choice for general lay practitioners within the Mulrose lay congregationist order and the Clear Lake forward lay congregationist order of the only by me revealed and given reality way of Adidam. Motiveless and searchless single celibate renunciation, intrinsically free of egoic self-identification with the body-mind complex in general and with the sex function in particular and entirely without the exercise of yogic or psychophysically exercised means relative to the sex function is an inevitable and necessary practice for all formal renunciates within the Muliwai lay renunciate order, the Nitamba Rishira Sanyasin order, and the Sapta Nath Sanyasin order, in the only by me revealed and given reality way of Ali Dam. Because all formal renunciates in the reality way of Ali Dam, characteristically and non strategically, demonstrate such profound turning of the psychophysical faculties to me that they are occupied with me to the most intensive degree and consequently profoundly free of ego-bound patterning relative to the psychophysical functions of the body-mind complex and profoundly indifferent relative to the usual psychophysical occupations of ordinary human life. My formal renunciate devotees simply stand prior to sexuality and prior to the body-mind complex altogether in moment-to-moment -moment devotional and transcendental spiritual communion with me. Therefore, for my formal renunciate devotees, true motiveless and searchless celibacy is not a practice, it is simply a fact.